Emma is a girl who is preparing for a swimming competition with the help of her friend Cleo. She is beating her personal record. As Cleo leaves, she runs into Zane, a boy from high school who plays a prank on her. He puts her on a boat he has, which is broken in the middle of the sea. Cleo has no way out, until Ricky comes to her aid. Ricky gets the boat running and picking up Emma on the way, they decide to take a ride on the open sea. Running out of gas, they decide to row to a nearby island, Mako. Lost in the woods, Cleo falls into a cave that she is not able to get out of. Ricky and Emma come to her aid, but the only way she can get out is by swimming out to the open sea through an underwater tunnel in a pond. Although the girls see this as the only solution, Cleo doesn't want to do it, as she is afraid of water. When the three are inside of the pond, the full moon illuminates them through the crater of a volcano and some bubbles come out of the water. They don't give it so much importance and leave, being rescued by the maritime police. Next morning, they are all surprised when, after touching the water, they turn into mermaids. They are half girls, half fish. Cleo is scared of what's going on, but Emma and Ricky decide to do some research in the ocean. When Cleo meets Zane again, he wants a fight for ridiculing him. But something happens. Cleo is able to crush him by controlling water. Does she have magical powers? Cleo tells the other girls about it, and they realize that she can control water and Emma can freeze it. But what's going on with Ricky? At the moment, she doesn't have any power. And this is the end of the first episode of H2O Just at Water.